William and Kate are upset with Harry and Spears' book explains why. Welcome to Dream USA 24, my channel. William, Kate, and Harry's relationship had irreversibly worsened when the Sussex's resignation was announced in January 2020. But with every statement the Duke made in public, the Prince's rage increased until it finally erupted, naturally in private, with the release of the memoirs cut, minor, which happened last January 10th. The autobiography has a paragraph that has caused a great deal of controversy, and the couple will never be able to forgive Harry for it since it might be the last straw in their connection with the kids. Diana, the lady. Sussex v. Wales. Billy and Kate, they'll be grumpy. Harry is certain that Tom Quinn, the specialist, knows why. In actuality, it won't be limited to the criticism and disillusionment generated by Megxit, the interviews, and the Netflix documentary this time. The Princes of Wales will never be able to forget what may be a more subdued explanation. Quinn told Express, I've spoken with people who worked for William and Kate as well as people who worked for Meghan and Harry when they were in England, and they say there's a lot more anger in private than in public, especially regarding William's physical health. Hostility directed at Harry. They appear irate over this. In actuality, the princes kept their purported rage a secret, at least from the public. William's Assault Tom Quinn alludes to the now-famous, if fictitious, tale of the ripped chain, or the brawl that supposedly broke out in Nottingham Cottage in 2019 between William and Harry, leaving the latter's pendants on the battlefield. The Prince of Wales made some remarks that set the whole thing off, calling Meghan Markle rude and annoying. William would defend himself by saying that he was just trying to support his brother, while Harry would stand up for his wife. According to Pieces, the conversation might have escalated into a physical altercation in the home's kitchen when the Duke gives the prince a cup of water to help him relax. William, he approached me, dropped the water, and insulted me once more. Everything happened so swiftly, incredibly quick. He threw me to the ground, ripped my necklace off, and grabbed me by the collar. My back was wounded when I fell upon the dog bowl, which cracked under my weight. I was stunned for a little second before getting up and asking him to leave. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. The Prince's Contrition Prince William would keep pressuring his brother following this altercation, saying things like, Come on, hit me. You'll feel better if you strike me. Come on, just like we used to be kids. However, Harry would have said, No, I'll just whack you and you'll feel better. Please leave. The future monarch will quickly come to regret his haste. William, he departed from Knott's, but not the kitchen. In the living room, he was Dot and I remained in the cooking area. Two minutes had passed, a very long two minutes. He reappeared and apologized, his face contorted. William would have asked his brother to keep their disagreement with Meghan to himself and downplayed the altercation. Shaken by the incident, the Duke of Sussex called his therapist and gave the following explanation. We've had a million physical battles in our lives. We didn't do anything but argue as youngsters. However, this occasion was distinct. Meghan had observed these bruises right away. The gods also scratches behind Harry's back. I was unable to deceive her. She wasn't very shocked and she wasn't even upset. It was quite depressing. The television show airs late. The Prince of Wales, in addition to recording these stories, he also displayed the chain that had been fixed on the late show in January of last year, explaining the significance of the three pendants my wife gave me this one, which has my children's heartbeat on it, but it also has a tiger's eye that was crafted by a friend of mine in Botswana. The necklace's exhibition might have been an attempt to support the story in spare parts, with some legitimacy. In actuality, though, we only have Harry's account. The Prince of Wales has consistently adhered to the standards of behavior established by the Crown, including the customary quiet upheld by the family motto, there is no explanation if there is no complaining, never offer an explanation, never voice complaints. Overall animosity. Quinn stated that William's anger at being made public about his struggles is understandable at this time. Secrecy has long been a source of great pride for the royal family. There were, of course, Plenty of exceptions, but one of the fundamental tenets of court life continued to be quiet, seemingly unaffected serenity. A wins or they shouldn't, or at least shouldn't, carry on heated debates, fights, and contentious debates like the majority of everyday people, much less reveal their personal troubles to the public. 
It is more of an attitude meant to defend the royal institution than it is an issue of arrogance. Put another way, the crown will lose its air of romance and mystery, but more importantly, its neutrality, the duty of guiding the country and consequently its role, if the king or queen behaves carelessly and insufficiently, putting themselves below their status. The purpose of existence, the princes of Wales, who are reserved by nature, would not have liked Harry's remarks for the same reason, albeit they took care to avoid putting themselves in a position where they would encourage rumors and controversy involving the Sussexes. William lacks confidence. Another effect of William and Kate's indignation over Harry's disclosures will be the prince's total loss of faith in the Sussexes. For ages, tabloids have conjectured that future kings would be reluctant to see or speak with the duchesses out of concern that any conversation would wind up in the media, in fresh memoirs and documentaries, whereupon phrases may be twisted and feelings amplified to entice them. Interest. Every word they said could be used against them, the princes would fear. Considering the past, this would not be an extremely unlikely theory. Expert Richard Fitzwilliams told the Express newspaper, I'm afraid this shows that the rift is deeper than ever and that the relationship between the brothers is very bad. Fitzwilliams recalled that the two brothers had not spoken to one other in months and had not attempted any kind of communication. Interviews and resumes would only heat up an already volatile situation. The fact that Harry cannot be trusted is the main argument. How could I be certain that what we were discussing didn't come up elsewhere if we were chatting and you were Harry and I was William? Fitzwilliams clarified further that the Duke of Sussex D might write more autobiographical works. Suppose Harry decides to expand Spare after landing a four-book deal with Random House, or perhaps he writes more about his early years, or Meghan writes a memoir. There are a lot of question marks and if statements. The Sussex Duke and Duchess have exhibited erratic behavior. Yes, but one thing is still consistent. They enjoy publishing, and as we've seen, they take advantage of this in a cruel manner.